Welcome back to Sean Stackhouse Reacts, guys. So glad you're here. It's a beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be my neighbor? Hey, if you're finding me for the first time, do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications. Smack that like button. If you have any special requests, you can slide those into my Twitter DMs at Sean Stackhouse. I'll be more than happy to get to your video uh, as soon as possible. Um, also, guys, if you want to support the channel, down below we have a link for PayPal, we have a link for Cash App, and we also have a Teespring link where you can buy Sean Sackhouse merchandise. And I'm also working on getting new artwork for uh, the merchandise as well. So all the links down below, and uh, we certainly do appreci appreciate everyone who supports the channel. We love every single one of you. Now today... Uh, yesterday, Zack Snyder dropped like a quick little clip uh, of his Justice League for HBO Max on Twitter. I've not seen it yet, so let's watch this together. In two days. Oh, Superman. DC fandom. What else is there after this? Was that it? Okay, so that was it. All right, let's 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 go back and take a look at some stuff here. All right, check that out. That is Superman checking out. Uh, like when he's 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 come back to life, he's checking out his uh, his memorial, and uh, we saw what type of mind frame he was in in the theatrical release. So God knows what type of mind frame he's going to be in this. But my question is, where's the black suit? I mean, uh, he, in the comics, he was, he had the black suit, like from the, the beginning, when he came back on scene, he had the black suit because it helped him heal and absorb more, uh, sunlight than, than, uh, like normal. So yeah, you see him, he's like, He's eyeballing all of that. Then we go. We got Sto uh, uh, Victor Stone, Cyborg, uh, playing football here. And I don't, I don't remember if I actually saw this in Justice League or not. This might be a complete. You know what? A lot of this stuff is probably stuff that we've never seen. Um, I have a feeling that that uh, Joss Whedon cut out a lot of Snyder's work. So this is probably going to be like a completely different movie for the most part, which I'm good with. So, yeah, there, there you see him playing football. There's obviously an explosion. Um, is that the is that maybe like the bat wing going down? I, I'm not sure. Um and here, here you see the epic feet drop. <laughs> plop, plop, plop. So you got Aquaman, obviously. Come on, work with me here. Plop. Uh, Wonder Woman. You see the lightning, so you know who's coming next, right? We got the Flash. <laughs> <laughs> man, I can't wait for this Flashpoint movie. Man, it is going to be... Oh. And bah, you got Cyborg. They're all all standing there probably trying to figure out what's going on with Superman. So there, there we have it. The Snyder Cut. And uh, we're going to see, uh, I believe, a full trailer this weekend uh, at DC Fandom. And... I implore you, if you're a DC fan or if you're just DC curious, you need to check this out because they will be dropping things like, like, bam, bam. There you go, Marvel. Bam, bam. It, it, it's, I mean, just, just from the report yesterday that Michael Keaton and, and Ben Affleck are coming back in Flashpoint to play Batman, two different versions of Batman, and it's going to explore the multiverse for the first time in the cinematic history of, of, uh, uh, any DC movie, you know, it's only been done on TV. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be lit. It's going to be fire. It's going to be badass. So let me know what you guys think down below. Um, man, I am, I am so happy 
It is so good to be a DC fan right now. We've taken so much crap from all the Marvel lovers, and I love Marvel too, but man, like DC DC takes so much crap from Marvel lovers. You know, they just love to hate on DC. Well, guess what? If uh, everything in this uh, Flashpoint movie is as good as it's sounding, like the description from the Vanity Fair article, uh, even if it's not the best script in the world, you've got great actors between Michael Keaton and Ben Affleck. Plus, they say we're going to see other characters that we've seen before. So who knows what that means? Are they going to superimpose like Christopher Reeve flying by? I mean, we're talking about the multiverse here. So they say that everything that has ever existed exists in the uh, the multiverse. And that's how you do it. DC is the first with the multiverse. I know Marvel has one too, but DC did it first. And I guarantee you DC is going to do it best. So let me know what you guys think down below. Again, if you find me for the first time, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications, smack that like button. And if you have any special requests, slide those into my DMS at Sean Stackhouse on Twitter. I'll be happy to get those out to you as soon as possible. Thanks for going on this ride with me guys. Until next time, take care of yourselves. We'll talk again soon. This is me hugging you over the airwaves. Mm. 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 <laughs> you feel that?